let us continue let us continue our discussion on generating functions last time we had derived cer uh, certain relations which will take us from one coordinate to another set of coordinates and let me summarize what we found last time so if we take generating function f1 which was a function of the old coordinate q and the new coordinate capital q then if i take the partial derivative i get small p okay the the small q's and small p's and capital q's and capital p's these are set of coordinate and momenta so small p for example is p1 p2 so and so forth to pn so this was the relation for f1 and the second relation for f1 is del f1 small q capital q over del capital q is minus new momenta okay okay that's good now delta f this is also something we saw last time okay then delta f 2 q comma so it depends on old coordinate q and new momenta p and if you take the derivative with the new momentum it's q okay so that's fine now note here that this q is the canonical conjugate variable to the p here similarly this q is conjugate to this capital p this one is conjugate to this so it's always always like this okay let me remove those Okay. and the same will be true for the remaining two relations also delta f3 okay. this will be our table which we can refer later minus small q and delta f3 this is small p in capital Q over delta capital Q is minus p okay and also note that every time you have one old variable and one new variable old new old new and same will be true for the fourth one P, P, P is minus Q and we have delta F4 okay is equal to Q and here also this is conjugate to that and this is conjugate to that let me remove this okay so that's fine and also i wrote that in all the cases as we, as we observed last time that the new hamiltonian h prime will be just the old hamiltonian written down in new variables plus delta f over delta t where f could be f1 f2 f3 or f4 f4 okay, and if there is no explicit time dependence in f then of course h prime is just h okay let's take up a few simple examples so simple
So first one here, I want to know if I take this as the generating function where F1 is Q times capital Q, how the new and old coordinates are related. Second, if I take this uh, generating function F2 to be this again how they are related to the old uh, coordinates if I take F3 to be okay, this and the fourth one F4 to be this. So these are fairly simple which we can very quickly check. So let's see, I'll, I'll show here explicitly. So let's look at first case. If you do this, if you take the partial derivatives as uh, required by this one which is here meaning this then let's go okay then what you'll get is the following doing that calculation will give you that capital Q the new coordinate will be P and the new momenta would be minus q okay meaning it will just interchange q and p and i believe that we saw that earlier also so let me write it down here this just interchanges okay it will just produce an interchange of the coordinates if you look at the second one let's put it here you will find that the new momentum is same as the old momentum and the new coordinate is same as the old coordinate which means this is an identity transformation okay this is not changing anything so this is identity transformation let's look at this one Maybe here. So third one if you do, maybe I'll just write it down uh, how to get this. It's trivial. So you have delta F3 over delta P is equal to minus Q. This is what you have on the previous slide. Okay. Here. Now let's see. If I take F3 to be minus P capital Q and I'm taking derivative with respect to P, you get a minus Q. Okay, So this will give you minus Q by taking the derivative of this thing, which is equal to this minus Q here, which implies that capital Q is same as old Q. And doing the same thing for the other um, equation, this this one, you can again see this here. Okay. If you take the derivative of F3, which is P times capital Q, and the derivative with respect to capital Q, you are left with this minus P, minus small p. And minus small p is equal to minus capital P, which means capital P same as small p. Okay, the new coordinate, new momentum is same as the old moment, momentum, which means it is again an identity transformation. Okay, and if you look at F4, then you will find that the new coordinate is P, the old momentum 
and the new momentum is minus the old moment um, old coordinate which means this is again an interchange okay so this is what it is and these four generating functions f1 f2 f3 and f4 these are called generating functions of the pure kind so let me write it down here okay that's fine color is okay generating functions of pure kind okay and uh, there may be transformations which will be canonical but are not necessarily generated by generating functions of pure kind so they may be of mixed form okay they could be a mixed form of uh, generating functions of type f1 and f2 and so forth let me give you an example and uh, such generating functions are called generating functions of mis mixed kind functions of mixed kind okay so for example let us take a system of two degrees of freedom meaning it is described by q1 and q2 these are the two degrees of freedom and the other uh, let me denote the conjugate momenta by p1 and p2 okay so that's the system of two degrees of freedom now you may want to uh, think of a canonical transformation which will keep q1 and p1 unchanged okay so think of a canonical transformation which will not touch the coordinate q and p okay so it doesn't touch those so where q1 remains um, okay remains unchanged so the new coordinate um, coordinate is still q1 the new momenta is still p1 but for the q2 and p2 there is some some uh, uh, non-trivial transformation and let's say we want to interchange q2 and p2 so let me write it more nicely so i'm looking at a canonical transformation which will take my q1 to q1 p1 to p1 okay and my let me check yeah capital q will be p and capital p will be minus q so coordinate remains because moment okay and just a second yeah so p becomes capital q p becomes uh, let's call it capital q2 i'm looking here right now this is the one interchange i'm just taking care of the sign and i see that the small q is what is called minus capital p so minus capital p2 and i have forgotten putting a 2 here Okay, so suppose this is the transformation which I want to do and then you can check that this is generated by the by the following by the generating function f is equal to q1 p1 plus q2 capital Q2 so this one is of kind f2 and this one 
is of kind f1 and let's see whether this will work so okay so here you see f2 is qp this is of kind f2 um, and if you choose f2 to be qp it does an identity identity transformation so let's see what we are doing f2 we have chosen to be q1 p1 which means the transformation that will happen will be identity so the coordinates q1 and momenta p1 will still remain unchanged and here let's go back i'm um, sorry the second one i'm choosing to be f1 and f1 is q times capital what happened okay let's see if we can fix this Mm. Okay, anyway, this is this should be fine. So, um, where am I? Yeah, I was here. So, this one F, which F one. So I'm looking at F1 here. F1, if you choose to be Q times capital Q, then it does an interchange. So clearly this will generate an interchange uh, in the coordinate Q2 and its momentum P2. Okay. So this is another kind of um, generative function that we can use.